It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. I'll tell you why we're singing the Fred song in just a second. Talk to me, Daddy. Tell me now. Don't make me wait. Uh, because I got this great letter from Fred. Ah. He writes, I was watching an old episode of The Addams Family, <laughs> the, one, the one where Lurch becomes a pop star while the family was listening to Lurch on the radio. <laughs> they were dancing, doing the Watusi, when Gomez jumped up and said, what about the Freddy? And proceeded to dance. Oh, man, oh, man. baby Jesus. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, th well, this is my. This is the new president. This guy is our uh, number one listener. Yes, whoever yes, that is. This guy is the, the new president of our of our secret society. I don't remember that episode. Shut up, Ace. <laughs> Hi, it's the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Hi, Chick. Hey, Josh. Hey, Chick. Pat Godwin is somewhere because it's Gold Suit Day. I'm there's... right here, Chick. Oh, oh see, God. we can hear We oh. can't see him. There's Ace. <laughs> and there's Willie. <laughs> and back to Big Daddy. Have you seen him? No. Uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Godwin is uh, in. Uh, well, there's a curtain between the glass no and the room. Attention to the man behind the curtain. He is oh. in the Oxford Gold Performance Room, but today is the great reveal. Mm -hmm. uh, I have had our uh, staff seamstress make a gold suit for Pat. I have. Not, are you in it already? No, 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 no. Okay, oh. street clothes. Okay, uh, you know, culottes, mesh shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, coming up, Pat's going to put on the Oxford Gold Performance suit. Now, this is designed to look like the one that Elvis was wearing yeah. on the cover. What is that album called? 50,000 Elvis fans can't be wrong. Something or like Five that, yeah. million Elvis fans can't be wrong. There's a five. I know that. There's, yeah, there's a, and, there's, and Elvis is in a cool gold suit. And this is the, <laughs> sl the slender Elvis. Not, yes. Not yeah. pork, Porky Elvis. No. Let's be very clear about that. Um, and, and so well, well, but I'm very excited about this. Uh, and um, in honor of, of our friends at Oxford Gold, we, we've decided that Pat is going. And then Pat oh is going my. to be doing a special performance, which I'll tell you about later, in the gold suit <laughs> in a live setting. Okay. It should be very, very exciting. Um, we started with the Friday in honor of this letter. And Ace, you're contending that this never happened? No, no, I'm not saying that. I just said, I don't remember the episode. I'm going to look it up. Uh, it was rather accusatory when you said it. Yeah, well, you're, you're implying that, that this Fred... Who, who is the new president of the Junior Windbag Society. By the way, if you'd like to become an officer, merely send us a letter. We prefer it if you begin, dear idiots. Um, thank you so much. This Fred, this is so impressive. And is yes. Fred uh, a less than popular name these days? Probably, yeah. I would think so. Mm, most Fred, yeah. Leonard, Caleb, probably Sid. out of fashion. Yeah. I know a Caleb. <laughs> uh, I know a Sid. You do? A little kid named Sid? Oh, no, no, no. no an adult okay. named okay. Sid. Yeah. yeah. Um, I well, and I take it back. I do know a, a, a two a women named Sid, Sydney's. Oh, oh. I oh. that's kind of I think kind of popular. Yeah. But in any in any event, uh, Fred. Sydney. Are there any, any if anybody's listening? If you have a little baby Fred, what a great name for a kid. This, this one, back. it seems more Supreme Court justice like than kid like. Hey, where's Fred? Frederick. Yeah. Frederick. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah Fred's his, a good his, name. His honor. Frederick Johnson, something the fifth. <laughs> the fifth. <laughs> uh, uh, before we move on here, I, I, I of course, um, this the story he's referencing here on from this Adams Family episode. They're doing a dance that was popular in the '60s, known as the Watusi. Oh my God! Which, by the way, was uh, the answer to a uh, New York Times crossword puzzle question the other day. I, I was kind of surprised. I feared that had gone the way of. How do you spell Watusi? W a t u s i. Well, you know the idea that. Crossword puzzle is people have trouble filling it out. So the more vague and un yeah, I was, unrelatable the answer. I, I was thinking think. in the world of political correctness, that especially with the New York Times, that they'll probably <laughs> some guy will probably get fired for doing it. Um, the old grade lady, don't put up with that. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, but the, he references the song uh, "Do the Freddy" from Freddie and the Dreamers, one of my favorites. I just happen to have it right well, here. One of your favorites. It is a little rough. Ah, ah. He kind of reminds me of the guy from Sticks. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> All right. What? Huh? Yeah. You know. <laughs> the and you're fooling yourself, guy. Right? And you're fooling yourself. Yeah. In any event, uh, th that's our tribute to the Freddy. I, I won't make you suffer through it again. Oh, no, sure, uh, sure. I, I highly recommend. Maybe not. I highly recommend Googling. 
Freddy and the Dreamers. And uh, you can learn how to do the Freddy. <laughs> it's a very simple dance. Listen uh, to everybody out there sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I expect a rushing to the I expect a letter tomorrow <laughs> from someone who has mastered the Freddy. <laughs> it's an easy dance to do. I like easy dance. I have to make a comment here. This is kind of a visual note. But, uh, Josh, did you cut your grass yesterday? No, but I did uh, some lawn, lawn work. You, you, uh, quite a bit of sun. Oh, did I? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think so at all. Very, oh, very, like Josh. very red. No, very, red. Very, no. No. very red. You look great. No, you Does look... anybody think he looks very <laughs> red? You look a little sun kissed. I didn't notice. No. Look, Nobody dude, said something. I'm, I'm sorry. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I was out watering the flowers and oh, uh, I planted some grass red. seeds, so I had to water that. Well, and... uh, Josh, you're very red. <laughs> very, very I don't feel uh you're not. I felt nothing in the shower. You got a little bit of sun. That's all oh, okay. yeah. right. yeah. yeah. okay, well. it is. He's really said you're sun kissed. It's just a good look on you too. Very red. Stop red. the show. You're very red. Your face is red. What are you talking about? I was at a swimming meet for Ooh. my girls yesterday yesterday afternoon. All right. So you're projecting onto Josh. Oh. Projecting. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm just saying he Well, you and really I can red. compare melanoma later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is it time? It is time for the big reveal. Ladies oh and gentlemen, what I've been talking about, of course, is um, the Oxford Gold Performance Room. Uh, is uh, right next there through the right next door through the glass, and there's a curtain right now, so we can't see in there, and the cameras are off. So we're going to turn them on because we have asked um, uh, our seamstress, our seamstresses, to create right. a gold suit for Mr. Godwin in honor of the Oxford Gold Group. And I'll remind you that buying real gold and silver, the kind you can hold in your hands, is much easier than you think. Just call the Oxford Gold Group right now, eight five five seven ten G O L D. That's eight five five seven ten Gold. Get your uh, get your gold and silver investment guide. The guide is free. 855-710-GOLD. You've been thinking about getting gold for a long time and not just a piece of paper that says you have gold, but get the real stuff, gold, silver, in your hands. Ladies, I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, we have um, <laughs> oh. uh, Pat Godwin. We're, we're going to watch oh. the big screen in here all as they right. reveal uh, the new, all the all new Oxford Gold Performance Room. Has oh. been entirely redone. Sweet oh, baby. Oh, oh my God. God. That's a lot oh of gold. My God. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Godwin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh He's my got God. the cape. Yeah. He's got the Elvis shades. How you doing? Uh -huh. Oh man. <laughs> it even looks like you've got a pompadour. Your hair's looking really good there, oh, too. Thank you very much. I grew it during the break. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Is that an electric gold microphone? It is indeed, of course. Oh. <laughs> uh, this so looks nice. better than I ever thought it was. Oh, my God. I don't even have words for he this. Has, he has a cape. He has... Uh, it's a jumpsuit? He has everything. Of course. <laughs> Elvis jumpsuit. This, hey, now, uh, uh, can you play guitar while if wearing it? I take my uh, cape off, yeah. Okay. If I no, take my I cape have a question. Off. Can you take the cape off yourself, or does that require um, an, I need an, the help, an yeah. attendant? Do we have to get Eddie in there to take I the... need Dr. Nick first, and then I can do everything else. <laughs> uh, uh, Jess, I'm going to need my cape off, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. Oh, my goodness. One of the Jessicas of our, is apparently uh, here to... in the building. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, She's got that. a gold suit on as well. <laughs> <laughs> undoing the... There's a very high collar with... Uh, oh, oh boy. Attached to the cape. This is so nice. That is wonderful. It Thank is you a, very much. A, a sparkly gold suit in honor of uh, oh, our yeah, friends from Oxford Gold. Oh, it says Godwin, oh, Godwin on, the on the back. Did Elvis have a bald spot? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what is that made out of? Is that like saran wrap or what? That feels like. <laughs> <laughs> is that a little warm? My sack. <laughs> uh, is well, your hair darker? Yeah, it, you're, you really, it's making what, your hair look like Elvis. What are you wearing underneath that? <laughs> Prison uh, boxers, baby. I told you before. <laughs> I told you before. He can't stop moving like Elvis. No, he wouldn't well, you if you, you were wearing on, that? You just... You get the feel. <laughs> yeah. Now, can you grab your guitar, a... please? Of course I can. Is that a gold guitar? Yes, of course. It's Oxford gold. <laughs> it's it's uh, I, crazy. Well, I, I hope, did the Oxford gold people know that they have to write us a check for this a guitar? Is I guess. 
<laughs> it says Oxford Gold on the... Somebody went crazy with the card, Tom. I'm sorry, bud. Uh, wow, that's beautiful. This uh, is lovely. Once again, uh, the, the all-new uh, Oxford Gold Performance Room, uh, the uh, special treat today. And the stage is gold. Did we say that? Yeah, I mean, the background. You look like you're going to a Halloween party dressed as Trump Tower. Yeah. Well, Pat, I tell you what, why don't you... Um, do you mind if I can I make a request? Can you do your uh, your your tribute to Elvis? Because I know you have one. If you're going down the mouths, turn off the background music. There, uh, we're going to have to do a song. Now. We've got some background music going. Okay, on. okay. I'm, oh, okay. We, we, we weren't hearing it, All but right. uh, go ahead. I'll have to talk with my sound man. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. Don't question the king, Tom. <laughs> if you're going down the mouths. Have to see him frozen in time in his homegrown mausoleum, and the only photos of him are all rockabilly thin, shaking his hips with a microphone in his hand. Well, there are no pictures of Fat Elvis, the Grace Land. Oh, there are no pictures of Fat Elvis, the Grace Land. That's right. <laughs> Swapped right on Tinder, and now I'm on a date. <laughs> the lady quite politely inquires about my weight. Cause the only photos of me are when I was thin and 33. <laughs> thought I'd be a younger, more handsome man. <laughs> there are no pictures of fat elves in Graceland. On the walls of Graceland. It's thin Elvis a rockin' and a rollin'. You won't see him in that jumpsuit with his belly overflowing. And like the images of him in my pictures, I'm always thin. High school photo is me and my high school band. There are no pictures of Fat Elvis and no camera shots of my flabby pelvis. No pictures of Fat Elvis at Graceland. Come on, let's get something to eat, fellas. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm winded. Uh, a tribute to Fat Elvis uh, and to Tinder, weirdly enough. Yeah. Return to Tinder. That's well, great, I can't Pat. wait until you get a chance to perform uh, in front of uh, a live audience in that. Uh, oh, in that oh, boy. Scene. That'll be a lot of fun. Pat, that'll be great. When we get back to touring and the pandemic is over. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll be great. We've got a special, uh, <laughs> what I'm calling, pop-up comedy show coming yes. up with a benefit project. Then Pat will be Pat there. Can, wear are, that? You, are you going to wear the suit? Oh, you got to ask me to. I will all close with this. Can that thing be uh, cleaned, uh, dry cleaned? Well, it's going to have to be cleaned now, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. A little thing. I I've, got a feeling, <laughs> I've got a feeling that's going to be some uh, stinky, stinky. Milk. No, no, no. You are aromatic. sweating like... Uh Put in your. Um, it's probably hot. I would. Think. You're sweating like Elvis. Like Elvis yeah, on the CBS. last tour. Sweating like Elvis <laughs> at his last concert. Yeah, yeah, give me a pork chop, baby. That's the Oxford Gold uh, Performance Room, uh, specially done up. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Jess and Jessica and everybody else who helped. It's amazing. Yeah. Looking great, Pat. Uh, Thank you very much. We'll have uh, we'll have more. What's the seam up. seamstress's name? Uh, no idea. You met her? She yes. Your orange jumpsuit. Do you remember her? I don't. I don't either. Okay. Nice. But we would like to thank her. We would. <laughs> well, I, whatever her name is, big you fan. You both met her? <laughs> Could have Numerous times. Yeah. Waited more times for me. Okay. Well, I, I was trying to do it on the yeah. air. It was a nice gesture, but... Um, yeah, but you didn't wonder, know what you were doing. I wonder how that started, that we got it on the air. Hmm. Oh, you did it. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Well, thanks, lady. <laughs> well, that was certainly sincere. One of the rare sincere. times the word lady is used in a nice way. Yes, yes, look, sincere. lady, thank uh, you. We... Just any chair. That's the Omaha Steaks. That's what your dad wants for Father's Day. We chair. had Omaha Steak ribeyes last night. Yum. Oh, I've got mine in the fridge for today. Yum. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. That's Josh and Chick McGee is across the way. You thank you very have much. so much in common. Oh, <laughs> you want a French? That's French. There you go, French to make. Oh, oh. say so fortunately. Hey, Hello, by the bell. Bob and Tom show. <laughs> hey, fellas. Oh, oh, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. I've enjoyed your French program. <laughs> good, good, yeah. Bonjour. I sure hope Pat Goldwyn can sing a song about it. <laughs> it's got, it's got one. Of course, Father's Day is this weekend. Y'all got big plans for it? Sure. No. no. <laughs> you know, my oldest boy, Travis, goes by Benny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll be coming up to see us. Oh, good. Oh, good. Because he's been living downstairs in the basement for the last 12 years. <laughs> oh. But he'll be coming up. <laughs> he pops up now and then, you know. 
<laughs> kind of more like Groundhog's Day when you think about it. <laughs> sure, sure. I told Big D if Benny sees a shadow, that means six more weeks of unemployment. <laughs> Only time we see him is when he's running low on speedy points and when he wants us to heat him up some pizza rolls. <laughs> you know I've never really cared for pizza. Oh, really? And I don't really like rolls, but I love pizza rolls. Oh, oh, wow, how about that? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there's wholesome goodness in every bite. <laughs> But I'm sure Dr. Fauci would say they're bad for you, <laughs> stupid buzzard. <laughs> I got a quickie for you, Ace. Oh, Ace. What do you call a dad who fell through the ice? <laughs> Tell me. A popsicle. <laughs> oh, sure, oh, fell through the ice. Six. A popsicle. Uh -huh. Maybe popsicle. you'll kick a shine to this one. <laughs> this old boy and his father uh -oh. sitting there on Father's Day, sitting at the supper table, Boy says to his daddy, he said, the roach is okay to eat. <laughs> his father goes, let's not talk about that type of thing over dinner. We're trying to have a meal. Uh, sure. <laughs> so after supper, the father says to his son, why'd you want to know if roaches were okay to eat? <laughs> the boy said, well, on the couch, you kind of had one floating in your soup. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that kid rock sure has a mouth on him, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, he sure does. Uh, he's got he's some opinions. Uh, but then again, I admire any man that wants to start an escort service for the rest of the Happy Father's Day. Thanks. Nice. Very helpful. Wow. Oh, wow. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing the big reveal. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going back over to the Oxford Gold Performance Room. And in the room, oh, we have... Uh, oh, my oh, hell oh, and God. Oh, my God. Uh, we have two Elvises. The Elvi, I guess it is. Oh. Only one Elvis? That's that's Dean right there, my guitar. Player. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Colonel Dean? Kills Colonel that, Dean. Kills 50%. that in joke if it's just one Elvis. Just, this is very serious. Okay. How long are we going to be here? I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Are you? Yeah. What's why the matter, Elvis? I don't know. I, I don't want to say on the air, but I, we might as well just do the song and get right to it. Because oh. I'm, I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling a little... <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I've been, I've been here a long time. It's part of the setup, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah. A little slut <laughs> iced tea and some coffee. Can you all imagine right. if one of us had <laughs> said that? Uh, Way to ruin the entire show. So what's going on? Well, all right. Let's just do this song and uh, do, give it our best shot, whatever yeah. it gets. We're going to do it nice and slow there. we got two gold oh, guitars in there, oh by the way. Oh, my goodness. All right. Wow. One, two, three, four. I'm caught in my suit. <laughs> what? I can't get out. <laughs> because my zipper's stuck now, baby. <laughs> Man, I sure gotta pee. Oh. I gotta go. <laughs> I wish to hell the suit was made with Velcro. <laughs> I'm stuck in this thing forever. Cause I can't unzip. No, he can't unzip. I've been twisting and yanking so hard. You know, Dean, I think I broke my head. <laughs> my suit <laughs> and I can't get out <laughs> my zipper's stuck and I just peed myself oh, that is unfortunate uh, <laughs> you guys handle the rest of the break I got uh, will yeah. do yeah you guys oh, Elvis, uh, thank you very much. Go uh, your shoes. Pat Godwin, I would like to apologize to the Oxford Gold people. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. as much gold as I've ever seen in one place. <laughs> Look at the it, it, Dean has a... Oh, my. Is, that a, is, that a uh, is that a real Fender gold? Oh, yeah, guitar? this is a Fender Stratocaster. This is a custom color. It's called. Um, it's actually called Vegas Gold. It is nice. Yeah, this was a limited edition deal. Uh -huh. And uh, you can't even... These things are hard to come by now, but luckily Boy. we got that uh, Oxford Gold sponsorship. And uh, we, we actually have... Uh, blown all the year's sponsor money, so <laughs> <laughs> you're just getting, getting those two guitars. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank we began today's show talking about the Adams family. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Uh, because uh, it was pointed out to us that um, in an episode of the Adams family that one of our listeners was recently viewing, 
uh, there was a mention of the song Do the Freddy. Yeah, we're going to revisit that. It's the episode called Lurch the Teenage Idol. Mm, how about if that? you'd like to see it, uh, where he goes, I've always been. Emmy nominated, I'm sure. Big oh. fan of the song Do the Freddy. Just, just saying. Yeah. It's yeah. out there for those of you that missed the beginning of the show this morning. Oh, it feels like 18 hours ago. Yeah, well, it's, it's been a good show, I think. I'm very happy with it. Uh, Josh, you should be very proud of yourself. You had a couple of excellent jokes today. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, now you can go back to rem memorizing your act. <laughs> yeah, boy, oh boy, I sure do. <laughs> Got a week, right? How did that turn into an insult? Wow. <laughs> Is this Chris Christie bit faded or uh, dated? What do I do here? Faded and dated. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Gerald? Ford? I'll tell you what. Christy, you have any news? A plague of mice is tormenting Australia. I mean, we have to tell you what to do now? <laughs> My dad she comes just, at you and they hey, go If she ain't talking, just go ahead and nudge her. I was. You knew when to talk. Eh? Fast track. That was a long time ago. Did you call him a bastard? I hope you did. You fast track. Vast tracts of land in Australia's New South Wales state are being threatened by hordes of mice that the government describes as absolutely unprecedented. The risk is that the mice will survive the Southern Hemisphere winter and devour wheat, barley, and canola before it can be harvested. They Apparently, they're all around the shore on Wales. Ugh. They like to hang out around... <laughs> <laughs> you got this. They like to hang around the hickory dickory docks. No, they don't. <laughs> around the clock, they're mice, they? you see. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.